Well, staying with the arts, when the Chancellor stands up to deliver his spending review next week, the smart money is on the arts losing large sums in subsidies. So does a new exhibition opening in the capital mark the future for funding creative ventures? 28 artists are showing work at a central London gallery, each one sponsored by wealthy investors. Our arts correspondent, Brenda Manis, reports. An intimidating electric chair littered with fragile ceramic butterflies by Italian artists Batozzi and Cassoni and a plaster lace chiffon and bone sculpture by Jodie Carey are two works featured in Vanitas, the transience of earthly pleasures. It was inspired, I should say, by um, a period in time 400 years ago in Holland where there was great prosperity. And the artworks that were made at that time were uh, a type of artwork that reminded us of our own impermanence, i.e. you can't take it with you. With themes dealing predominantly with death and decay, the show features 28 international artists, which Joe and his business partner Mike Platt have invested millions of pounds supporting. It generally uh, co it comes down to you know, uh, looking, identifying an artist that we want to work with and or collect, uh, finding out what they need, so, for instance, a painter might not need large production budgets. A painter might need time. So if we can buy a painter time and relieve the anxiety of where the next you know, dollar is going to, or pound is going to uh, you know, come from, then we've done our job. While the arts community are waiting to find out just how brutal next week's government spending cuts will be and what impact it will have on them, here there's some confidence and real spending and investment taking place. But even the wealthy are not taking too many risks. Most of the artists in this show have a successful or growing reputation and buyers have already shown interest in some of these works. But Tim Noble and Sue Webster believe that hard times can give birth to innovation. People are afraid of change, and, but change is actually quite good. And if you think about um, the whole YBA explosion that happened in the late to mid, mid to late 90s, it came from nothing. I mean, everybody had nothing. There, were no, there was no real structure or support system in, in, in the London art world. And so that came from nothing. And I think that if you go back to basics, a new explosion will happen. And I'm very excited about that. The show takes place at 33 Portland Street for one week only. Brenda Imanis, BBC London News.